Um, so that's the first step. Um, and again, I think I want to point out that you don't have to use that every time. If you're just doing a quick thing, skip that step. Okay. Okay. All right. Where, where do women get shiny? We oh, yeah, in case we have... Women actually get sh shinier, like, right here. Oh, they okay. do get shiny on the forehead, but they'll get shinier here and on the nose and chin before they, you know, they don't d generally do the upper lip. It's sort of a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's powder your nose, right? That's right. Okay, and so... next, concealer to conceal under the eyes and any... Imperfections is a nice way to put it. Oh. <laughs> Do I have any of those? Right? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too much? I don't Probably. know. Um, I always blend on my hand, but that's sort of an artist thing. Um, and don't be afraid of the brush. Like, hold the brush like you hold a pencil. You want to control it, so you, you don't have any control here. So control it just like you would a pen or a pencil. Now this is where my eye gets poked at, folks, so anyway. Training and training. And at this stage, you can even close your eyes because you blinking and being afraid <laughs> might be <laughs> now, should harder she, for her. Should she be putting her hand against my face to control or not? Um, that's going to be her technique. No, I was just wondering. Have to learn. Yeah, I can't remember if you did. Um, I generally don't. I kind of just. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you're used to it. So. Yeah. It takes a little practice. It's natural okay. for her to be a little skittish at first. All right. Um, you know. I mean, I got two eyes. Yeah. yeah. Just she remember that one. you have control of the brush. Right. So, and, and it is difficult if somebody's sort of going like that, it freaks right, you out a so little I'll bit. All right, so I'll just close my you eyes can close and them pray. And best thing to do is close them. Yeah, I'm praying. I got my Well, eyes. that way she can't actually hit your eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still out there? Uh, see, you got it already. I can't tell if that was Nan or you. Did she actually sneak back? Nope. Yeah. You tell me to shut up. I mean, this really would be a good time to sneak in some like totally black makeup and <laughs> make me look like a pirate. And you can use this or your I finger prefer to fingers kind of because sponges are going to remove part of what you just put on. Fingers are going to blend. You're not going to pick up any of the product, they're just going to smooth it out. Whereas a sponge actually picks up some of the product and you just took all that time to put it on there, last thing you want to do is take it right back off. Mm -hmm. So you try to use pinky or ring finger. Um, the one place is you really want to get it is see where... If you've yeah, got long nails though, you can't do it. But you don't. <laughs> um, up there in that corner, you want to really... And you know, I like to think of people's faces as canvases, so I kind of beat them up a little. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, I let them know, is it too hard if I'm doing it too hard or whatever, but you, you got to start to feel comfortable with the skin. Hey, and then would it uh, be any advantage before I ran over to do this if I like really washed my face and got a lot of oil off? Is yes, that, absolutely. That would help? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And shaved. Yeah, Always a, a shave again, yeah. Okay. You still out there? Yep. Or is it done? Okay. What do you want me to do? And if you ever feel like you, does he need more or whatever, um, you know, have him put his glasses on. If you don't see it, then the camera probably won't see it. And again, concealer is um, like really minimum. You don't want to try, because you can get carried away with it and start going, oh, that's like, um, but this blends in really well. You did a good job. Um, you're going to cover most of what he's got with the foundation, so don't worry about hitting every little spot. Okay. One place you how didn't hit. How was that, Corinne? Huh? How'd you do? With what? Well, how'd there's the proof is in the yes. monitor. She did good. Mm -hmm. Um, one place, that, one place you missed is right around the nose. Men tend to get a little bit like broken capillaries and stuff. It's not a big deal. Probably won't sell, but it's something that like I tend to just automatically do. And again, I do this forever, and you are just learning. Okay. So. 
All right. All right. And then the third would be the powder with the medium brush. Mm -hmm. It's a foundation brush. Yeah, you want to, like you're this, going or? to use it like I was doing it. So you want to always um, use the brush on its tip like that. Okay. That brush. And yeah, you can tap off or tap it on your hand if you feel like there's too much. And the good thing about the brush is you can blend what you put on the face. So if you put a big blob, you can blend that out with a brush. <laughs> I should, should have told Jeff Hawking that. I was on a set one time and the, the host decided that my makeup needed touched up. And he came over and put a big blotch right inside of my head like a growth. Instead of getting the makeup artist. Thanks, Jeff. So I thought the big ass brush is down there in the chin line. No? Mm -mm. That's when neck. do we use it? Neck. Oh, neck. Oh, okay. And ears, depending on the size. <laughs> big elephant ears. <laughs> if you have, <laughs> if you have big ear. ass ears, you got to use a roller. <laughs> So basically, Nan, it's like a three-part process. Yeah. Concealer, or the anti-shine, the concealer. And the foundation. And then the brush-on foundation. Mm-hmm. And then everything else is just smoothing it out with your hands. Brush. Or the brush. The only thing you smooth with your hand is, what, the concealer? Concealer. The concealer. Did you get under the nose? Yeah, no, you didn't. Just... <laughs> <laughs> she didn't make me do that. And see, that's the one place you actually kind of want to lay it on. And if I can just step in for a second. Mm -hmm. you really Move to your left a little bit. You want to see it there. You actually want to see his beard. And you can plot it. Poke him. Um, you actually want to see that beard come down just a little in color. So if you start, if you don't see it coming down just a little bit in color, you're not using enough. Um, and it's okay, because I did tell you, start out light and mm -hmm. go back where you need it. But um, this is the one place where you can actually really get a good coverage. I'm going to stay on this side, it doesn't matter. Which do they usually do first, hair or makeup? Um, on women, hair, on men, makeup. Head, upper lip, most important shine areas on a man. So yeah, I would really just work it up there. And you can almost tell, like even though I'm really laying it on, you still don't really see it. And that's a good thing. Do you want the big one? Nope, oh, that's yours. <laughs> no. That's your job. And again, if you, the other thing I, I know um, a lot of people are weird about the eyelids, sometimes I do that last. After I've done the neck, I'll say close your eyes and I'll just, because this is a softer brush. But, you know, if you want to punish take it. him, like, yeah, you, can she use does. That, you can use the pokier yeah, brush. Yeah, she'd use a paintbrush. Depends on how nice he's been mm -hmm. to you that day. <laughs> well, I'm in trouble then. Oh, makeup artist has a lot of power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.